hello blender user today we will add body to the head that we have been doing so here as you can see i already have my setups i've already had my preferences and the shortcut and stuff like that already put for the sake of this tutorial i will start with the factory oops start with the factory settings and open the head where we left it here somewhere here uh, in today's tutorial uh, in today's video i will show a little bit of how to organize your viewport your the place where you're working the viewport so Mm, we will touch a little bit on this side of the outline of the um, collections we we'll touch on collection and uh, we'll add the uh, background image as well since the background image that was in here in the end panel is not anymore we'll touch that and maybe if we have still have some time we will touch on the brush figuring out how how to add your old brush if we have the time now if not we will think about it um, later on so let's get started the first thing we will do let's go out of edit mode first and then let's first thing i will do since i'm a right guy right guy is right select guy first thing i will do i will come here and change my preference first to here that's one thing i will do and then the next thing is something that annoys me as well yeah now just to start with i will leave it like this yeah so we have this one and then we come here make sure that this scene, scene collection is selected and then add a or we can just add it here add a, another collection there adding another collection it means like you have to make sure that the collection you want to add it should be in a collection so every single collection that we are adding it's added here in the scene collection as you can see the scene collection when it's selected on the other side of the window you will see it's written there so it means in this side means that you are on auto autographic view and uh, since the collection is selected and the plain one is selected let me just rename this plain one i don't i don't like it the way this plain one yeah let's call it uh, okay so we have some more meaning so in and then now we select the collection three four sorry and you can see the same thing happened there just control click it or i believe it's right tap double click yeah it goes with control click and double click as well do it and write something like background like that with it selected now uh yeah we added those um, 3d cursor and origin we added them so that they're not uh, they shouldn't be an hour away so shift s to put the section to selected it will go there can you see it the cursor is just like bend or kind of like rotated like it's a, it annoys me to fix it do this you click and then you, you you turn your mouse a bit like this it will rotate it on this side and then do again the the uh, it's just something that is annoys me and when it's a little bit bent like that so i, I rotate it and then i put it back in place with that let's now add a now we will add a now we have two ways of adding it you can add it as a reference image or as a background image or we can add an empty and we'll say tab we'll say we will fit the settings let's add the background image so we add a background image and here is our image this is an image that I get somewhere I get long time ago in the internet and I, I yeah I just get it long time ago in the internet and I don't even remember where I got it but just to know 
it's not my own image and it's, it's kind of like a good reference to kind of like block your 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 your, your model and so let me reduce the transparency and then put it to the front yeah put it to the front and reduce the transparency something like this now all you have to go do just j grab it put it here and then scale it grab it again scale it grab it again so now this is what you should kind of like make sure what you're trying to do is you're trying just roughly because you know that I, when i was sculpting this head i didn't use this as a reference something that like this can happen to you as well you had some fun moment and then you decided that okay i will sculpt something and then that's like okay let me get, let give some let give somebody to the let give it some more uh, somebody in, in, in to, 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 to this model that I did so this is the approach that you can do with it this is not the kind of saying the orthodox way of approaching a character model and before starting a char character you should have all your reference you should all all the thing that you at least have an idea where are you going yeah so with this one selected shift it and then go to side view with tree no first yeah to tree side view and then rotate it on the z 90. no actually it's minus 90. where is my minus 90. whoa okay Hmm. Home. Hmm. Where is my empty now? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I have this selected. This um, yeah. Let's just go through it because here you can display it only on orthogonal, and this with this one check you can display it in perspective this one orthogonal if i go to orthogonal i can't if it's unchecked you cannot see it yeah so let's select it again and then shift d it go to three z r z 90 no it was minus 90. Uh, hmm. Why is he doing it this way? Z. Uh, yeah. Yes, of course, because it's was showing only in the front. Mm. Sorry for this inconvenience. This is how it is. Getting to know to a new tool, it's always like that. You have, you have it, the road is on all, It's not always smooth. And then just grab it and push it on the Y axis. So more or less something like this should work. Just a little bit. And keep in mind that this was not our base model, base reference when we were doing it. So see for you to see those are the our image if you come to front of you you see it like this mm, i'm not really happy about this guy it seems like it's too much on that side gx let push it a little bit because you want it to be really in the middle so that easy yeah, you adjust it like that. You have your model three, one mm, to change the view. So, well, we have it set. Now let's go to 
let's add now mm, another collection let's add another collection and we will call it we will call it body Dynatopo. okay select it and add mesh and cube g now go to edit mode gz this is kind of like uh, um, the easy approach kind of like to block it to have it to have just a rough rough to have it roughly to have it to have our rough presentation of the model that we wanna we, we, we want to work on mm. with this model and uh, go and add mirror modifier just like that check clipping and then start to work we will be working mostly on one only one side mostly only on one side because this is what blocking is about so i'm just keep going on and extruding it So those are just the principle, the, 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 the basic tool, blender tool that I'm using. Okay, that's something I have to do as well. Mm, not bad, not bad. We can use it. We can do it later on. Now let's just do it since. Let's do it here, since we still. Yeah, go to our frame mode. Deselect everything with double E key and get this one no actually you need to get this one no actually get those ones and g y front of you and this one is selecting inside of you and then we leave it here this is this this process you don't you you don't have to be precise you don't have to be um, precise. You don't have to. It's, it's just about fixing and dragging, dragging faces all around. Roughly, exclude those. At least for me, I usually I, I usually feel like when you have a mesh and you blocked it 
here the workflow goes really faster yeah it goes just faster compared to if I'm starting for example with um, I jump in I jump in um, uh, Dynatopo I jump in Dynatopo with only two 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 with uh, with one of the primitive it, it's good practice to kind of like uh, feel see the challenges and so on but it's it, it's it's slow honestly speaking to start with a cylinder or but it gives you the, the time it's low but it gives you the, the, the possibility to, to to test to challenge yourself and to be more creative more more open to not only starting with human Form, not all your character will be just like human humanoid stuff you can you can you can do anything you want when you start with a cube for example you can do anything you want but if you come with the base mesh it means like you know already where you're going so you are not having your your, your freedom of kind of like exploring and visiting and i mean trying and failing all the, all those stuff you you don't having those freedom that freedom you're not having it so so because this is this is what i'm saying just like here we're just blocking roughly blocking this this part mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then get that one so that's the thing as well with this new blender 2.8 beta this new release so many things has changed but we still have those basic stuff That are still here with us that we can do something we can still make do our stuff another cut there I think more or less we more or less have it let me add the leg then select i believe by now you know already that the face select if you want to select your faces already it's three and h select two and vertex is one there is this little change in your viewports if you change from h and then face you can you can see age and face it's just like a little bit but you're seeing it up there as well up here the selection uh, up there yeah, I was thinking about saying why, I, I, why I, I don't want to use left click select. Left click select. It's it's um everything that I do in computer I use left click. For me, it's not really healthy. That only one part of my one finger of my body will be doing more than others so to keep it a little bit um, to give everybody a chance to take part on this i mean talking my body wise that's why i think it's just mm, look at this guy that's why i just believe that let's keep bringing back here i don't even know how did you end up there mm. So something like this will, I believe, do the work. 
so let's go solid mode let's go to object and then select that guy hide them actually to hide them easy instead of hiding one at a time since we have it already organized here in our background uh, collection we can just hide both of them at once like this now we can see what we have something like this in what I don't know a few minutes let me add the head the neck there just to help us bring it back and then side view side view we need some more of here yeah let's let that some more let's give some more love on side view view to GY like that okay that is when the back of you Whoa, what is this? What is this going going here? How did I even do something like this? And then, yeah. Oh, that's the thing. Uh, I'm still having this guy on. That's why he's jumping. It's kind of like snapping there. That's why he's snapping. I was having the, the snap snap on did you snap as well people just keep snapping all over the place i didn't even notice that this is this is actually the reason why i keep always my settings minimum i don't change stuff if i don't use it i don't for me just too much as you can see here on top workspace i'm having just those three that i need if i don't need them just like too much in my head I need too much in my face and then when i'm looking for something it seems like oh it seems like calvary i have to it's a bit painful to do that yeah so and then we just add the neck i believe we are all set if there's to see you face of it if there's each select yeah so the remaining will be being dynatopo oh let's Fix that at, at the hand. Let's end the end as well. Extrude that and yes. Actually, we don't want it to be like this guy. We just have this one to have the proportion. The proportion right so I have the proportion right and then hide them again actually you don't have to go there to hide them there is this thing here this uh, proportion thing you hide them here as well if you want to show something you can show it here you can hide it there and and so on well I will say for this we are ready for today. Mm, not yet. Because as can you see we having photo tree this unmatching behavior wireframe let's get one 
and then git that to oops. There was something selected on the bottom there. S J. come here and then we hide the background and then we come to solid mode simple as that this is we call it blocking let's call it body blocking okay we Shift the deeds, we hide the body blocking, we rename it body topo. Yeah, let's say re renaming thing C and naming and renaming, you just double click it or control click. Yeah, so this is our battery topo, we can hide it's already high hidden. Yeah, blocking is hidden now. We're having retopo here. Before starting to retopo, since you will have just a bunch of square stuff like this, before starting to retopo, no. Din topo, not retopo. Dyna, din topo, dynamic topology, yeah. Since we're having it before doing going doing anything with this guy we have to come to the mirror modifier panel the panel and then i uh, apply the, mod, the, the modifier since we can apply an edit or edit or edit mode go to object mode and apply it and if you go to shift control shift which will give you this spy menu and then select sculpt mode we're having the sculpt mode there and uh, i don't believe i will need this one anymore join yeah you're having sculpt mode there and uh, let's try to do this way those head this is yeah Yeah, this is actually this is the one that is supposed to hide. Where are you? Red retopo. This head, leave it. So we go back here and then back to sculpt mode. You see, all this time I was doing this. Quite stable, isn't it? Blender didn't crash. Nothing, everything just went good. Yeah. And I've said it, I usually hide this, this, this uh, tool panel. I usually hide it because I don't, usually don't use it. And something that I did with my, my settings, uh, I put the clay, clay is actually with the one key. I put it with W because W is closer to to, 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 to my resting position then one one it's a little bit further so I have to extend my hands my fingers to reach it so I put it to W just as simple as that assign and then you put W here and then if you look at it it shows a shortcut W and then something that I have put as well is this one this guy hide mask this is something that I use a lot pretty much like in every every time that I, I I sculpt so I intend to put it in the queue in the favorite favorite uh, the queue quick favorite it's the queue 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 key if you press the queue it's working in every every editor if you put the queue and then you have it to activate the interpose control D and then you have in this message. Oh, this message is so annoying. You know, removing it. Come here. And then it's this UV data that is disturbing us. Delete it. 
here delete that uv because we will not use that uv the uv uv, UV map is so messed up already and we will not use it go back to sculpt and uh, control d again now we have dynatopo ready somehow i feel like mm, it's okay w key f now we can just start to give it some form yeah with this my model i mean with my reference already in the background i can come here window uh, new window and then now you cannot see it i'm just um, i will now open in the image editor I'll open that background image so i have my reference on the other screen i mean in the other screen in the other screen i have my reference so again every time that i'm sculpting doing all those all these things uh, what is this Seems like so slow somehow. Especially the neck area when I'm doing that pass there. Something locked here. Yeah, that's definitely something I usually forget as well when I work. I lock those 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 axes. So for now we will stop here. Next time we will next time we will add more definition we add secondary form that's how they call it secondary form to this add we add secondary form to this add and some shape as well anytime if you want to bring back to have those to kind of like figure out what you're doing you can just to bring bring them back straight from here i mean the background collection that you have made mm. so today it was about setting up the background collection and and I mean, I mean, background, yeah, background collection, yeah, setting on the background collection and having our getting and uh, blocking our model simple as that. Next time, we will add more definition to our work. So, thank you for watching. See you next time.